By now, many of you have been through a bus evacuation drill. Even if you do not regularly ride a bus, you may have to ride one for an activity, academic, or athletic trip. The bus drivers from the transportation department demonstrate the training skills in the spring and fall of every school year. This is to prepare you, the students, in case a problem occurs on the bus and we need to safely and orderly get all the students off the bus and into a safe location. All the buses have safety equipment. This includes first aid kits, body fluid kits, triangles, and fire extinguishers. To use the fire extinguisher, all you have to do is take the fire extinguisher out, pull the safety pin, squeeze the handle, and aim at the base of the fire. If you have to use a safety triangle, a student helper may be asked to place the safety triangle in a proper location. All of our buses have emergency exits. Different buses will have different types of exits. Some will have windows, some will have doors, some will have rear doors or rear windows. Some will have roof hatches. These can be used to evacuate the bus in the case of an emergency. Uh, depending on what the emergency is, you will use a different door depending on what that is. Your good behavior is important in making the bus safer. When rules are not followed, somebody could get hurt. Please follow the instructions of the bus driver. Electronic devices like cell phones, gaming systems, and computers may be used but may not cause a distraction. You are not allowed to take videos or photos while on the bus. There are areas around the bus that are called danger zones. These extend 10 feet out all around the bus and are areas where the bus driver cannot see you and you are at risk of being hit by the bus. The area directly in front and directly behind the bus is one of the most dangerous areas of the bus. Always cross in front when unloading or loading the bus. It is important for you to wait for the signal from the driver to cross. When you start to go, you are also responsible for looking both ways. Your driver will be looking around the bus for traffic and other dangers and will warn you not to cross. If you hear the bus horn, stop immediately and look at the driver. They will be warning you of danger. Do you understand the ground rules, let's perform an actual evacuation drill. First, we're going to choose an obvious location about 100 feet from the bus. This is a place where the students are going to go. Pick a mailbox, a tree, somewhere outside of the bus that will be far enough away to protect you in case of danger. So if the driver is unable, a student may be required to help uh, open the door. There are two different styles of front door switches and we'll show you both of those really quickly. On our buses, we will have the door switch in one of two locations. One will be here, just above the door. If you flip the switch, you'll hear the air release and then you can push the door open. On our newest buses, not only do we have a switch above the door, but we also have a switch here on the dash and they work the exact same way. When you flip the switch, it releases the air and you can push the door open. Students should leave their personal items like backpacks on the bus. We can replace your personal items, but we cannot replace you. As you exit, exit in an orderly fashion, row by row, starting with the exit door. For a front door exit, start in the front rows, and a rear exit, you're going to start with the rear. We've all been on an airplane and seen how quickly everybody gets off the plane when everybody squeezes into the aisle. If you wait in your seats, it moves much quicker. Thank you for your time and your cooperation is appreciated. Your safety is of the utmost importance to the transportation team and all of the Sherwood School District staff.